Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Afterbirth. Relatively so far so good. Lost one a few runs ago, but now back at it again with the portable slot machine. 2PDFYYWX. You know what? It's one of our last Afterbirth runs before Afterbirth Plus. We should try to milk this niche item for all it's work. Ooh, actually it's pronounced niche. Oh, actually it's pronounced both ways. And your adherence to arbitrary pronunciatorial rules is holding us back as a society. You think it makes you extra intelligent, it just makes you pedantic. Okay? We're gonna look extra aggressively for our uh, second secret rooms here. Because again, you never know if this synergy is gonna be removed. Probably not. Or just a bevy of new items in the... Oh yeah, of course. It's one of our last Afterbirth Plus runs. We gotta go with soy milk. Um, you never know how things are gonna change. So let's enjoy the, the weirdness and the novel strategies that are present in the existing version of the game. Um, this is actually, like, one of my favorite rooms. Just because any consumable, as long as you have one bomb, any consumable that contains a bomb in the general area is gonna be free. So you're gonna get something for nothing on that room if you play your cards right. This could be a second secret room, and moreover, there is a red chest associated with it, so I'm going to take the risk. Some irony in that result, I suppose. Um, two troll bombs, not really what I was looking for. We have so much HP to work with here that it'd be a real shame if we lost. Yo, you know what as well? Like, soy milk, less knockback, please. If soy milk had zero knockback, or at least knockback pulled back, I think you'd see a... <laughs> strange sentence, but... I think you'd see a lot more people actually using this item for its intended purpose. Okay, I'm gonna take so much damage in here, and I'm like, a little ashamed. But you might say, why not use a bomb? It's because I want to save the bomb to try to get value out of portable slot, obviously. Where is... the second secret room? Here? Of all places? What is the second secret room, uh, benefit, by the way, in case you're confused? Well, with portable slot, um, if you... Well done. If you, um, have an eternal heart, then you can actually duplicate it. Oh, we have Whipworm as well. That explains a little bit extra here. Um, Tammy said it's terrible with soy milk as well, but, um, that allows you to create more eternal hearts by using portable slot, because whatever heart you get out of portable slot will become that kind of heart. So it could be eternal hearts, could be spirit hearts, could be demon hearts, etc., etc. It could be red hearts if you need red hearts, I guess, in particular, but that's also kind of the default. So we're gonna try to make it work. If it works, awesome. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, this is like exhibit fucking A for why soy milk should not have as high of knockback, in my opinion. And all of my interpretations here are just if you want to see wacky items be used more often. It's like the the genesis of my mod ideas is like, wouldn't it be nice if I wasn't the only person stupid enough to take these fucking items unless they were already set in stone? Like, just make it so soy milk doesn't have as wicked knockback. And you have this amazing item that is just like a fucking Gatling gun. Instead of an item that people were like, why would you take that? Are you actually a stupid man? And I have to be like, yeah, well, yes, but not because of this, specifically. I, I got a, a tweet, by the way, and it was very well-intentioned. They said, um, and if this is you, I'm not calling you out. They said, you know, you gotta stop putting yourself down in your commentary. Um, it, it's getting hard to watch. First off, I, that's a little overdramatic, I would say. Getting hard to watch. It's, it's just me being self-deprecating. I have a healthy ego. If you talk to some of my colleagues, they might even say it's a, it's unhealthy in the other direction. You know, I, I have self-confidence, but it's a little old, you know, not, not to sound like a seasoned veteran of the circuit or something like that, but it's an old comedy trick, is if you can get people to laugh at yourself, I think they're more likely, or if you can get them to laugh at you, they're gonna be more likely to laugh at what you're saying as well, because they're like, hey, this guy's not taking himself too seriously, he's not above putting himself down. Rest assured, um, my, my self-confidence is... Within the healthy range, I suppose. But what the fuck do I know? I'm an idiot! Okay, we got a tears upgrade that is... Probably overkill, to, to say the least, and... This is gonna be... Interesting, but... I think not really that bad, as long as we... Play our cards right here. Could knock them into the fire, that might be like... 
the best way to do things, and that actually worked out pretty well. They were going to be slow when it comes to boss rush, but it's all worth it if we can get that sweet, sweet lump of coal and or death's touch synergy that makes this awesome. I'll settle for mom's contact, like the knockback, dude, come on. Speed down. Getting a, a unique assortment of tears, or a, a unique assortment of pills, I should say, that are possibly engendering tears in real life, depending on how things are going here. Half a red heart, or a full red heart, rather. We um, may find good cause to use that if things go wrong. What we could use, though, is, like, a key so we can get into our shop. Or just immediately finding the boss room and getting the greatest deal with the devil of all time. You know what's nice about soy milk? It's like insurance that I'm probably not going to take brimstone or mom's knife. Because it renders both of those items, I think, worse than just vanilla soy milk. Which is another interesting wrinkle. For Oh, we got two keys now. For such a, a divisive item, at least soy milk's got one positive that we can all agree on. Please make a bomb when you die. That's just the... <laughs> it's the well wishes that I impose on any of my friends. You know, die with dignity, but also, like, it would be really sweet if when you passed away, like, the last breath left your body, and then at that moment, you just turned into an explosive device, weirdly enough. Like, not with any sort of ideological attachment to it, but rather just, like, wouldn't that be fucking metal? Wouldn't it be nice if when we all died, we turned into a homemade rocket ship, and then our ashes flew up onto Venus? Something, something, boop, 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 boop. It's no small rock, huh? I think we just go through with the fight here. and uh, Another fairly terrible enemy to fight with uh, soy milk because he, the weight of this creature is so low that, like, it's gonna fucking take forever to kill him. He gets knocked back. They never take more than one hit in a row. You're gonna die any second now, though. I can feel it down in my, you know, what's. There we go. Uh, fortunately, though, Haunt himself is actually relatively bad against knockback. If you can catch him at the right time. Still slower than we'd like and probably going to leave us more exposed to damage than I'd like. What if we could just stand here and he won't be able to reach us because of the knockback? Never really tested it. Seems like this actually might be doable. Uh, maybe stand a little further back. Well, that's cool. Never lose to hush again, or to, to haunt again with this one simple trick. Told you, mom's knife protection. We'll take Sister Maggie because it actually deals relatively a ton of damage compared to us. Um, and I mean, I don't even want to take Speedball. I actually think the speed up is nice, but the shot speed up is very deleterious. I think that it's a very poor situation for us to have as much shot speed as we do right now. Um... I have to assume the only reason we did not get Death's Touch is because it's obviously going to show up on um, our item room. So they didn't want us to have to pay for it. They're going to give it to us for the cost of a key instead. Now, I know some people out there are probably saying, why'd you take Rotten Baby? You know, your damage stat is horrible. Your flies do double horrible. That's That elevates it. Oh, that's really good. The mulligan. Um... That's still not very good. And you're not wrong. I mean, it is, it's not good. However, I like the homing. I like the guaranteed damage. If somehow we get ridiculous damage out of this, then this is going to be a, a good situation for us to be in. I'm not going to play the Blood Bank anymore. I like having this money. And we'll see if we can find a second secret room. It could be there. In fact, it feels like it should be there. Nothing of value. That might give Eternal Hearts because it's like a weird flooded room. But I'm not sure. And if I'm not sure, I'm not going to go for it. Beautiful. Okay, so the mulligan is, is awesome. Our flies still sort of suck, so we're not going to, you know, rely on them for any ridiculous degree of uh, of damage. But it is going to up our damage as it is right now consistently. And again, like the fact that our flies actually home is really the seller here. Because we cannot um, land shots reliably as a result of the fact that, you know, the, the knockback that I've talked about, like, laboriously over the course of the run so far. So having some guaranteed damage in the form of these flies that will actually seek out enemies and deal damage is, is actually extremely important to ensure that enemies will die before they get too much of a chance to, to hit us. And with our HP at a relatively suspect amount right now, given our, our run quality so far, I think that that's important. 
Uh, Guppy would still be great as well, but we're really, you know, we're looking for Death's Touch. We're looking for any form of Piercing Tears is awesome. Even Dead Onion would work fine right here. Um, I, I think at least. It, my, my, my theory is that Dead Onion would work fine here. I'm gonna start trying to get some extra consumables out of this, uh, out of the time that we have here. I understand that we're trying to do the portable slot, you know, HP trick, but I want to get... I mean, first off, I'd like to get some bombs if possible, but, you know... Luck upgraded pennies would be fine as well. Okay, we got one bomb out of it. That's where we're going to stop because I think this is our secret room. Okay, stuck at five cents. That's, that's where we want to be. But I guess I'm already there. Does this... You think this works? I'm going to assume no. But I got to keep testing, I think. Um... Well, there's no real reason not to take that right now. We shouldn't be in too much danger of not escorting that heart safely to the finish, but, you know, I guess it's it pays to be prudent as long as we remember. Please. Okay, let's go inside of our... Nah, it's not worth it. I mean, we could use the money maybe, but... I don't really, uh... At this point, the run is in an interesting enough position that... I really only want to throw ourselves to the wolves if we're dealing with uh, better chest quality. You know, if we can get a stone chest, iron, or red or a stone chest, gold chest, or red chest, then I'm in. But our other chests are not necessarily too advantageous. Yera? Perthrow. Perthrow, also very good. This would be a great time for us to beat the odds and get an extra deal with the devil. Um, and, you know, even if it's uh, Krampus, this is the right time to get it. We don't have the HP to necessarily give away unless it's an extremely good item. Black Bean is not high quality here. Um, but if he gives us, if we fight him and he gives us Lump of Coal, we're stoked. Because we got great range and the advantage uh, of Lump of Coal plus Soy Milk is, you know, pretty enormous. But if he gives us Head of Krampus, then that's also fine because we'd have the Perthrow Rune to reroll. Now, we could save the Perthrow Rune and have it, you know, in the future as well, but, you know... Why I put off till next floor, what we could do right now. I stand by that. You'll always be happy that you did the laundry yesterday. You know, I'm trying to make some inspirational quotes for myself. I feel like the quotes industry is really poised to take off well in, uh, in 2017. Jim, insert a picture of Jim Cramer here. Quotes are hot, hot, hot. Buy into the quote industry, but... You'll always be happy you did laundry yesterday. Hmm, isn't that a delightful little bone mo? What does he mean by that? Well, yeah, everybody wants a garden. You'll always be happy you planted that seed six months from now. Unless, like, your tomatoes turned out, like, real shitty. In which case, you'll be like, why did I waste 15 cents on those tomatoes? Tomato seeds. Well, still a good Perthrow opportunity. Because, you first off... Free Demon Heart. And also Book Precedent. Uh, sorry, Portable Slot. It's not you, it's me. So we get Gimpy. And I think Gimpy's worth holding here as well. I mean, it's a great item, right? Uh, you, you don't need to be any more intellectual than that. Gimpy's just good to begin with. But, um, yeah, I, I almost tunnel vision so hard on this Portable Slot synergy that I was like... Thank you, Gimpy. Um, that I was like... Reroll Satanic Bible, keep portable slot. Instead, we rerolled portable slot and um, turn it into another great item and, in fact, great passive, which is uh, much more advantageous to us. But it means that we're not seeing the portable slot synergy. But you know, we gave it like four floors, so I uh, I don't feel like we didn't give it its fair shake. It had due diligence. What we're really lacking right now, though, is is damage and it's becoming even more readily apparent as time goes on here like we the mulligan don't get me wrong beautiful pickup gonna do a lot of great work for us I hope but we need more damage as a stat we don't need tears in fact like I think we're hitting diminishing returns because every tier that we hit with has like a 95% chance to knock an enemy out of the way of the next shot anyway so damage itself is extremely important, or piercing shots that nullify knockback, or a tier effect that freezes enemies in place, of which there is one. So uh, I can't really get too heady about that. We're going to be way behind schedule. That's the soy milk curse. I can live with it. 
on the flooded caves one I feel like we are still well equipped to get a win here the but this don't let this room trick you first off Gimpy's doing great work for us so far I really appreciate it it's not always there when we need it so uh, its help is actually very much appreciated right now however um don't let these rooms trick you rooms where we fight enemies that are you know anchored to a wall or don't move at all like if we fight Gertie we're gonna be like why are we complaining this runs amazing we're fighting these enemies that bounce around and are a little bit more elusive like is, is a nightmare and I, I don't mean to take damage there but you know, every time I hit one of these dips they fly 45 fucking centimeters across the map here so we're gonna take two of spades as six keys pretty good value and hold on to our Yara rune uh, mostly for quality of life and you know ease of use Holding a Yara rune means I'm pretty unlikely. To, oh, wow, I'm pretty unlikely to lose the Yara rune, which is advantageous. Library? I really thought we could get the library there, because um, we did get Satanic Bible and start to introduce that book precedent. And, you know, we're still getting new concepts in Isaac this late in the game. Book precedent is a new thing. I mean, it's existed for a while, but it as its own standalone term is is new. Uh, we should be relatively fine against these enemies, as weird as that may sound, because they are, uh, they're pursuing us all from the same angle, which makes it relatively easy to control their knockback, unless I take damage, in which case I take it all back. For now, I'm for this, and the moon, well, let's pop it. I'm assuming it's right next to us, which it is, and it was worthless anyway. All right, so item rooms remain extremely uh, important, but the deal with the devil uh, is fairly, you know, it, it's equivalent to giving us the win right away or making us work for it more, I think. Uh, Burkano's not really that good with soy milk active. I'm not really trying to facilitate the guppy dream, but we got to peep this curse room regardless. First off, could have spirit hearts to start with. Secondly, um, Mark, Pact, Sin Robes, etc., etc., could kickstart a guppy dream. You got to give it a try. Any any source of damage at this point is uh, is worth a is worth a look. So we're gonna get Guppy's head. For once, we're actually not going to, uh, to keep Guppy's head, but we're happy to have it. Becoming Guppy is really at this point about the ability to fly. But I do believe that the Mulligan and uh, and the Guppy effect for flies specifically do stack. So we might. Uh, I mean, there's there's probably a DPS related benefit. If I can push my nerd glasses on the way, 33.3 uh, proportional damage increase, repeating, of course. I like that that dude always gets made fun of in the Leroy Jenkins video. They're like, hey, this guy cares about something so much that he would do math and s talk about it in his normal voice. Hey, Jim, how was your fantasy football team this week? Wow, Peyton Manning only got a... 109.1 QB rating, which, uh, you know, personally, I think that the QB rating concept is flawed because it's a relative measure of performance that, uh, you know, it's different if you're a passing team versus a running team. And, you know, personally, I think that if you've got a Viking versus Colt situation, the Vikings should, you know, like, it's all nerd shit, okay? If you talk about that. And, and, and I'm the guy who's also, like, Leave sports alone. Sports did nothing wrong. Ooh, it's my, my sports ball team. Oh, I love when the sports ball guy puts the sport in the sports ball. I get it. You don't like sports, okay? I'm just saying we should all learn to get along with one another. That's the guy... I mean, I've never played an MMO in my life, but I'm assuming that's the guy you want in your guild, right? Hey, yo, uh, what are the chances we get full wiped here? I don't fucking know. Let's just do it. Let's have fun. Oh, we wasted six hours. Great. Good time. Who wants... Mind if I roll need? You right? Like, that's me... And that's not the guy you want on your guild team. You want the guy who's got the calculator and the spreadsheet open, you know, because he's a fucking systems designer in his in his real life. And he goes, you know, here's here's the odds. Is it worth doing? Let's check the EV, you know? It's... That guy's the real hero of the Leroy Jenkins video. The guy who knows he's going to get laughed at for saying 33.3% .3 repeating, of course. And you know what? He does it anyway because it's the right thing to do. So this run's dedicated to you, 33.3%, man. I'm not part of the 99%. I'm part of the 33.3% repeating, of course. I'm going to take Stompy. It's ill-advised, probably, but I'm going to take it regardless. If Runebag pays out with a, um, a Perthrow rune on the next room, I'm going to be furious. I will be inconsolable for about 10 minutes, and then I'll get another room and I'll, or rune, and I'll be fine. Um... But the damage will have been done. This is like we're we're hitting a pretty important milestone 
for getting some more damage. You know what? What if we just drop Whipworm? Like that's that's one way maybe we can stop the bleeding temporarily. Oh, I told you. We're going to we're going to destroy Gertie. It's actually not even as good as I thought it would be. It's a it's somewhat tanky boss. Mm, tanky boss. Yeah. He's got disproportionate HP to lose. Ah, there's a word in there that will work, but I can't quite I can't quite chisel that joke out of marble. All right. My my prophecy of us completely stomping Gertie is uh is not coming true, in case that's not readily apparent at the present moment. A stamp. Well, you know what? We could still make use of a Perthrow rune here. No deal with the devil, but the syringe is nice. And that's our second syringe as well, so head down to the next floor. Uh, spun would be huge, probably more important than the guppy transformation, and we can... Try to facilitate that via um, via demon judgments if they show up. We don't really control whether or not they show up, but the the damage upgrade from growth hormones is probably going to be pretty. Oh right, we don't even need to use bombs. It's probably going to be pretty important here. I think. Um, wow, we got an eternal heart out of out of something there. I don't know what it was out of, honestly. The eternal heart is is secondary to our own. Uh, Ability to kill enemies. Like, our HP is not our most pressing area of concern right now. But it is up there. It's on the list, you know. So maybe stopping uh, ourselves from running into enemies would be nice. But, you know, the Degas rune came through in the clutch there. And I really appreciate that. Wait, what was our other rune? I, I thought I used it, but I did not use it. Good. Um, we're holding Yara for obvious reasons. I assume. These guys should be fairly easy to get down there. I mean, we got flies. It's just a matter of whether or not they want to actually do some attacking. I guess I would also welcome uh, BFF. Sister Maggie is probably doing more damage than I'm giving it credit for. And uh, wouldn't mind buffing that up easily. I don't think we really want... You know what? We, we, we'll probably... We'll probably play um, the fortune teller and my reasoning is I don't really care about crystal ball you know we get one play out of it maybe and then stick with satanic bible for consistency's sake but um, I do care about getting a better trinket so even if this takes a minute here we could hanged man and blow these up to try to get spirit hearts as well um, but really this is a uh, this is more about trying to get a better trinket at this point boss rush is like a long forgotten fairy tale like a magnetic field song so that will not be happening joker two of clubs i'm just gonna pop it almost got me with that homing shot matchstick not necessarily bad um and how's the uh the faded polaroid i don't know i'd rather have the bombs should be... Oh, Kraken Skulls on the regular. Yo okay! Well, there we go. I was like, we're going to lose that Eternal Heart. It's got to go. But now it's all about keeping this deal with the Devil Chance alive. And this is like the slow descent of soy milk. If you get that early DPS, you start building a you, you know your dream house. The Alge's Rune is very important. If you don't get that early DPS, you can find yourself in a tight spot. This is only the Dank Depths 1, too, so we got a lot of game left. So I'm not throwing in the towel at all. I'm just saying, you know, it would be nice to get some value quick. The uh, Alge's Rune is pretty much like Demon Judgment fodder. If we can find a, a Demon Judgment, I'll be really happy about it. Or we could also, like, drop the Yara Rune here. That's awesome. And we could use Alges to save half a Demon Heart, but honestly, after getting these batteries, I don't think that's as relevant. Try for a second Guppy item. A little bit of a bummer. Tears up, I mean, I'm not against it. And the, the Pretty Fly is probably more valuable, but sure, I mean, a Tears upgrade is a Tears upgrade. It might be close to capped, but... Alright, this is, this is important. $3 bill could be good, but I think we gotta go for something more guaranteed. 
book synergy. Um, how to jump, again, I underrate it, I'll admit. Bloody Lust. That is, I gotta be honest, Bloody Lust is a little bit of a compromise. Because I think we, there's a chance we had one or two more rerolls left and we could have gotten better. But, uh, we could have gotten a better item, like an item that's always useful. However, I think this opens up another path to victory, which is having more than five cents when you leave this floor. Try to, uh, make IV bag happen. So there's the five cents, probably. Try to make IV bag happen. We should still do this. And if you're able to do that, um... You got another avenue for, for victory. We could also just bomb our way, you know, into two cents from the donation machine, and or three cents from the donation machine, and that could put us over five, so... Or we could just fight greed, for that matter. Like, the donation machine is innocent. Sorry. I'm, we're not going to take the other... We'll, we'll go back for that jo potential Joker card if we don't get a deal with the Devil here. But we will probably get a deal with the Devil here. So, let's save the Yara Rune's placement and not waste uh, five cents. That actually could be fairly important. Satanic Bible's awesome, by the way. But if we can get this to be like an actual machine gun instead of just like the pea shooter that it is right now um we will we will be a lot less worried about our hp i'll tell you that much but it's still for right now it's slow and it, it will remain so for a while um i'm gonna at least per throw here and yeah okay you know i'll, I'll probably bomb and get uh no i'm not going to actually as much as damage is important, I really believe that uh, there's a huge... Eh, well, it saves me some time. There's a huge potential in this... Um, in this uh, arcade play. I don't know if we're going to easily be able to make it work. We might not get an arcade. The arcade might give us Blood Bag, which is honestly, like, pretty fine. Um... It might give us IV bag and then we decide we actually want more HP. Like it could be, this could be an extremely wrong decision. But I don't think it is. I, I believe in the power of this choice right now. And let's get what I assume is a very nearly guaranteed deal with the devil to ensure our victory here. Uh, I'm going to try to kill Mega Maw first because it's standing in place. So if our flies want to do some ancillary damage to Dingle, that's completely fine by me, but I'm gonna shoot at the target that allows us to generate the most flies as easily as possible, so very happy with that. Dingle, is, when he's not moving, he's... this is the most John Madden-y sense I've ever said. When he's not moving, he tends to be fairly stationary, Al. Um, but I meant that with sincerity. Good, good, good. Okay, oh no, not good? We now have... Uh, Conjoined. I didn't realize we were that high on the familiar train. So conjoined, people always remind me, conjoined is actually objectively better than not having conjoined. But it feels worse sometimes, because you're like, I'm... It's, you're not thinking, I have extra shots. You're thinking, so many more of my shots are missing than they used to. But this might actually be good for a character that has so much knockback. You know, having a little spread to your shots could be valuable. And we did get a lump of coal out of it, which is huge. Burkano, not really very good, but I think we just go. But Lump of Coal here seems like it could be awesome. I think I think that might be enough, but also if we can get Bloody Lust to work with IV Bag here. Alright, let's see how much this has impacted things. I'm not expecting the world, but it's more like... Oh, we did get an arcade at least. It's more like we're just covering the room in shots now. It's a lot less like aim and a lot more... Just blanketing. Uh, and this is our opportunity as well to get a uh, another syringe. And get that spun transformation. We didn't get spun, but Succubus is also great. Uh, I'm starting to take Spirit Hearts, so it's really up to us how deep we want to go on that. But I think we're going to try something like this. Maybe get some HP out of this guy. Keep in mind, we're getting a large damage bonus out of Bloody Lust either way. I uh, really would have liked that to be Algis, but still, you know, your heart's in the right place, I think. He's, d he's done. Come on, come on. We can make this work. I'm sure we can make There's so much floor left here. Let's go experience some of the remaining rooms. And if we gotta use some spirit arts to make it happen, does not bother me in the least. 
Especially with the more we get here. Certainly we do want to look at our shop. That was very dumb. Um, it would be good if we uh, fought greed, actually. Get some free HP. No greed. Take a two cent deal, though. Or a two cent red heart, I should say. Still trying to pursue the guppy dream. At least just to get the easy ability to fly, but... You know, it is what it is. Don't really care about the eternal heart right now. Could change. So we got another three plays here easily. I don't think we have the speed to get back and forth between these in time to... Get the, uh, get the play on both of them. We just need one of them to pay out with IV bag. So it's, it's even easier than it might initially seem. But let's not go overboard, because honestly, with Lump of Coal, there might be a win without the requirement to have IV bag. Hagalaz is fundamentally pretty much worthless at this point. No offense, man. Um, I think we should go back and, you know, if we're doing our due diligence, let's do our due, due diligence right away. You know, go crank some extra plays into this bad boy. We're, we're at the bloody lust cap. Like, I, I would be amazed if we were not, but... Stay low on HP so that we can actually get into our boss trap room as well. Uh, remember, Gimpy's giving us lots of red hearts. So, as long as we're still, like, killing enemies, we're still alive here. We're still in the game. Red chest. Golden chest, also pretty good. Pretty solid room right here. Weirdly enough, another great synergy. A great item, obviously, but a weirdly great synergy is like Holy Mantle. Because if we can stand closer to enemies... Uh, that was dumb. But if we can stand closer to enemies, uh, we can hit them with more of our shots. But I think we've finally gotten over the slow burn of, uh, of the soy milk here. Could use a little bit more punch, but apart from that, like, it's looking pretty good. Bumbo's not what we need right now. No offense, man. TNT is obviously not what we need. My best friend is bad. Game Kid is unnecessary. Money equals power, on the other hand. Sure, we just gave up a bunch, but this gives us an easy way to facilitate extra damage. Synergizes really well with IV bag, if we're lucky enough to make that happen. Um, let's go, uh, let's go make our dreams come true right now. And if we can get to... Let's put it this way. I don't think we're making the hush fight with three seconds left here, but... I think we can start to make up time and, and feel a little bit better about how this run went down. Because we've been saddled with the soy milk the whole time here. But... I believe we can make it happen. It'd be nice to get a teleport card, actually. I'm gonna sacrifice some, uh... Some spirit hearts here. For, like, it would be nice if Gimpy met us halfway, but... Sure, we got Blood Bag to start with. If that's all we get, life's still good as far as I'm concerned, but... We are hoping to um, amp it up a little bit. Every dime and nickel counts. Like, there's no doubt about that. Um, but I'm hoping to get a little, you know, more conventionally rich if possible. Two more. The luck upgrade is also great. Sweet. Okay, so we got the 59 cents. Um, there's more red hearts available. We're going to go take advantage of those. And honestly, while we're here, we might... I, I don't really want to donate. <laughs> this run seems like money equals power is, is probably more pressing. Considering our, our soy milk lack of DPS, so... Oh, and we got IV bag to work. Okay, so it took a long time. But we we made a plan. We followed through with it. And here we are. You know, in a, in a situation that is going to be very good for us. So we'll save our, our remaining plays. We should be at a half heart interval, but... Let's, let's make that happen. Oh, that's so good. Oh, we're, we're already at a half heart interval. Lovely. Thank you, uh, IV bag, but not being on an, uh, you know, womb floor. Already done that. Okay. We should be actually set right now. We got enormous DPS improvements on this floor. And this is the kind of soy milk run that you think about when you think, hey, soy milk's underrated. You don't think about the, you know, 31 minutes of, uh, tedium that got us to this point. Still take the Polaroid. I'm not, I'm not gonna take Mega. It's too easy, and to be honest with you, I'm attached to the, the plan that we did and succeeded on, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, but there's only a few episodes left. Look, Mega, you don't even wanna see me take Mega. It's gonna make it too easy. To give us that alternate easy win condition after we fucking grinded, that's not fair. That ain't hip-hop, okay? Working your ass off, 
on a novel strategy that comes to fruition very rarely, that's hip-hop. And even still, like, <laughs> I'm frustrated by the fact that I can't aim at enemies, but it's a small price to pay. We're on an XL floor. We're going to get one deal with the devil. Um, Guppy Dream is a theoretical possibility, but I actually like an XL floor for a couple of reasons. One, it's going to be a little faster. Two, it's... Um, going to mean that we don't need to use bloody lust or we don't need to use IV bag to, IV bag to get bloody lust on two floors we can really just get two for the price of one right here I didn't like that Yara rune so we went with the other one uh, half heart please thank you and then we go boom boom why not play more once we get um, once we get uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility ah young Padawan that's not how it works in Isaac despite being logical you would think that one could simply Use a spirit heart. Or not use a spirit heart, sorry. Use IV bag after getting permanent Polaroid invincibility, but it actually hurts you to avoid making it super easy to exploit for infinite free money, I suppose. Come on. So we got a lot of uh, possible advantages left in that room, but I need to get to a half heart interval uh, that's one higher than this in order to take advantage or get an Alge's rune, which is what we just got right there, amazingly enough. So, sure, yeah, also still very good, and we got our Yara rune back, hilariously enough. Well worth going, though. Um, is one of those pills good? So many Yara runes, dude! Oh, it's a third pretty fly. Yeah, the Yara runes are ridiculous right now. Ah, uh, that was dumb. But we're still so set right now. Like, we're also at 99 cents, so... Like, we could afford to get rid of IV Bag, especially because the Hush fight's not gonna happen. But we probably don't want to. We probably want to roll IV Bag to keep Bloody Lust uh, going here. I mean, we originally got IV Bag for Bloody Lust, not for... Uh, not for uh, Money Equals Power, so be a slap in the face to remove it now we got like double benefit for it dude okay the arrow runes are lovely don't get me wrong but would it kill you to give me like a degas rune or something on zeus anything along these lines thank you gimpy that was a lovely and very much appreciated pick up there at this point like the that was also bad but thank you again gimpy um, the, the Guppy Dream is somewhat unlikely with only one deal with the Devil left, but the win is all but guaranteed now, which is, is actually really nice given that we oftentimes found ourselves in positions where that did not appear to be the case. Like, this, this run could easily have been, um, destroyed. There were a couple of times where I was like, Ooh, I don't know if we should bring it up, but <laughs> things are looking a little dicey right now. And, and we got through them basically because of one amazing, like, Depths 2. And the, the Lump of Coal pickup doesn't hurt either, but really it was mostly Depths 2. So we could um, play this and probably get to uh, a Blood Bag. Could be another IV Bag, but I, I don't think it's worth it, honestly. The, the small element of risk is enough that and, like to overshadow the very, very modest reward. The very, very modest possibility of a reward at that, so. We should still, and I mean, if we get enough Demon Hearts and Spirit Hearts, it would be awesome to, uh, manage to finagle, oh, that's a per throw right there. Um, to finagle a situation in which we, uh, can stay at a half heart, not a half heart interval, but a half heart itself, and then, um, get permanent Polaroid invincibility every time we get hit, but, again, we're, we're talking about, like, quality of life stuff that actually just does not matter right now, because we're... In such a good situation. Rubber cement would be amazing right here. We're gonna have to wait till the uh, the chest to see if it can happen, but uh, rubber cement would be awesome right now because half of our shots are reflecting off walls at like 45 degree angles relative to where we enter, so it would be nice to um, just trying for luck upgrades at this point. It would be nice to be able to get those to deflect basically back at the center. And, and get some value out of them that's otherwise inaccessible. Um, there is a theoretical loss here. Um, for now, it's fine, and every spirit heart makes it easier, but it is easy to go overboard and be like, you know, playing the IV bag is always good. 
Wow, I tried to deviate at the last second there and push him back, but I, I fucked it up. Um, Ansus, lovely. This is the right direction. We should fight the mini-boss, though. Um, we, we've got to be a little bit, maybe, more concerned, but not by much. I do not think we take Shoop the Whoop, because as good as our damage can be now, Soy Milk is not helping uh, Shoop the Whoop anytime soon, so ignore that. I also don't think we go to the Curse Room. Guppy Dream, you know, if you wanted us to be Guppy, you had your chance with that last deal with the Devil. It gave us Contract from Below, which I'm, I'm stoked to see how that works out, but... Anything else is, uh, you know, it, it could have been Guppy and, and incentivized us to go to that curse room, but it didn't. And here we are, not feeling bad about it, but a slightly uh, less Guppy focused position. Might be some synergy there with broken uh, teleporter, but not exactly the room I was hoping for. I was hoping for exclusively. Uh, Exclusively uh, red hearts, but we actually are doing just fine here as well. Uh, well. We'll take advantage of it at the very least. Now, don't get hit too much against Isaac, please. We got this Yara rune, so we got like potentially great value coming on the next floor. And if the great value is coming in gym and it's coming in my car, you get it's Arnold. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger, but. We got two more half red hearts, which is important. We need those not to preserve our life, but to at least give us a an inside track at DPS on the next floor. We're almost done with this. We really maybe should be trying to uh, stand inside the succubus, uh, inside the succubus lair at this point, so we can get that dirty DPS bonus. I'm sure, Burkano. In, in the end, this is not making uh, a bad run. This is actually a pretty solid run. Just don't be an idiot and forget to hit Q as soon as you get down here. And do that. We can look for more Yara runes, but I think I'm ready. Okay, that's ridiculous. The tier stat, I don't even know if it has anywhere to go. Hot bombs, check in and see. I got a fever of 103. Charm tiers, not that good. Okay, now it's actually stupid. And that might actually be a terrible take, Beelzebub. No. Might be a terrible take to get... Um, Number one there. Yeah, our range is horrible now. Um, so, was that advisable? No, apparently not. <laughs> but our rate of fire is going to be through the roof now. He said facetiously. Yeah, that was a dumb pickup, but... What would this series be without dumb pickups? It would just be like... You know, guy... Who is not extremely competent and Isaac plays it regardless. The stupid plays are a way for me to atone for the fact that I make suboptimal plays. Because sometimes I'll intentionally do bad things, and it makes it all worthwhile, hopefully. Uh, I am slowing my roll a little bit on using IV Bag, for better or for worse. How are you not dead? Like, the health bars are so low. So I got two hits. I had hit three times there, which is why I'm slowing my roll a little bit, but... Just, just cool it here. Just cool it. We should be completely fine. And, you know, the more damage we can get out of it, the better. But that's the ticket right there. Per throw. Also good, but we actually took all eight items, which is kind of a feat in and of itself. Okay, that actually worked out really well because Gimpy came through in the clutch. So we're going to get that damage bonus. We got a per throw rune that I hope will one day do something for us. I mean, we did, we did get contract from below, like, specifically for the chest, so. If we could get two items on this room, that would be nice, I guess. Otherwise, that was pretty much a wasted pickup, but look at this. Now our damage is actually good. Just, like, four or five hits, and we are rolling. All right, well. Technically a suboptimal play, because actually, streamer, you should have taken those two half red hearts and then, you know, used IV bag a little bit more. And you're right, you're right. You bloody well right. You got a lot of right to say. Something, something. Now, the last part of that lyric was going to rhyme with Harambe in, in, my, in my parody. So just fill in the rest of the lyrics yourself. Mad lyrics style. All right. 
We'll re-roll this chest. Uh, didn't work. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode as we count down to Afterbirth Plus. If you did, please click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.